Certainly, uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area. He's certainly an authoritarian. Um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fall, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. Donald Trump en el ojo del huracán otra vez ahora porque no solamente ha dicho en el pasado que admira a dictadores como Kim Jong-un, pues Vladimir Putin, eh, ni hablar también de Xi Jinping de China, sino también de el más nefasto posiblemente de esta era moderna, Adolfo Hitler. Ahora pues sale esta, este reporte, esta bomba que muestra... No solamente la, 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 la admiración que siente Donald Trump por este dictador eh, fascista, criminal, asesino, como lo fue Adolf Hitler, sino también posiblemente su deseo de convertirse en uno. Escuchemos lo que reporta el general retirado John Kelly, quien fue su jefe de gabinete, su chief of staff, el, más, el que más tiempo duró de todos sus funcionarios a su lado el funcionario más cercano que tuvo Donald Trump durante su mandato, un general de cuatro estrellas, un general que ha sido laureado con honores, que ha tenido toda la credibilidad del mundo y el respeto a la Constitución, a las normas, al país, a la bandera y a la Constitución norteamericana. Ese general Kelly, o General Kelly, a quien la admiración o que ha disfrutado o ha gozado o ha recibido la admiración de los dos partidos porque fue eh, militar durante varias administraciones hoy pues la campaña de Donald Trump dice que miente al él decir esto Kelly said the former president meets the definition of a fascist and would rule like a dictator if he wins another term here you can hear them certainly Uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area. He's certainly an authoritarian, um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fall certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. If he was left to his own devices, would he be a dictator if he didn't have people around him? Oh, I think, he, you know, I think, I think he'd love to be. Uh, I, I think he'd love to be just like he was in business. He could tell people to do things and they would do it and, uh, and not really bother too much about whether uh, what the legalities were and whatnot. Kelly, a retired general, held the position of chief of staff longer than anyone in the Trump administration. He called the former president's recent comments about possibly using the military on American citizens disturbing, adding the remarks prompted him to speak out. And I think this, this issue of, of uh, using the military uh, to go after American citizens is one of those things I think uh, Is, is a very, very bad thing. Even to say it for political purposes to get elected, I think it's a very, very bad thing, uh, let alone actually doing it. He's certainly the only president that has all but rejected what America is all about and, and what makes America America in terms of our Constitution, in terms of us, our, our, our values, uh, you know, the way we look at everything to include family and government and He's certainly the only president that I know of that was certainly in my certainly in my lifetime that was like that. Kelly also said Trump, quote, never accepted the fact that he wasn't the most powerful man in the world. And by power, I mean an ability to do anything he wanted any time he wanted. Kelly confirmed previous reports that the former president spoke positively of Hitler. Iggy Connors is more than once that, you know, that Hitler did some good things too. And of course, <laughs> if you know history, um, again, I think he's lacking in that. But if you know what his, you know, Hitler was all about, uh, it'd be, it'd be pretty hard to make an argument that he did anything good. 
Sin duda alguna, este tipo de retóricas llenan de preocupación porque es lo que justamente dice eh, el equipo de Trump y dice Trump que no, que Kamala Harris es marxista, socialista y que, que va a ser una comunista. Que... No, no, el que quiere, el que muestra dotes de fascismo y que quiere mostrar y, y ejecutar el autoritarismo en tierra norteamericana donde la constitución lo impide y además el, el ejercicio más puro y más importante de la democracia en el mundo, el que quiere hacer esto y, y, y destrozar estos ideales democráticos es Donald Trump, justamente lo ha dicho. Les voy a decir, les voy a mostrar qué opina la vicepresidenta Kamala Harris al respecto, pero antes de llegar allí, quiero que escuchen a Ana Navarro, una republicana conservadora que no solamente pues trató de, llevó a George Bush al poder y fue de las, que, de las latinas, eh, de las hispanas, que siendo republicana llevó estos gobiernos republicanos a la Casa Blanca, pero que también se dio cuenta después de los cuatro años de Trump que no debía volver a la Casa Blanca. Y dice esto sobre la credibilidad también que tiene el general Kelly, además de la indignación como hispana, como latina, de las palabras de Trump. Andrés, and I know John Kelly very well. General John Kelly was the commander of Southcom, which is based out of South Florida. We were neighbors in Coral Gables. He, his wife, Karen, I spent a lot of time socializing with them. I spent a lot of time with them just after they had s lost their son, Robert, who died in Afghanistan, serving in Afghanistan. To me, hearing John talk about this right now is chilling because it's an extraordinary step for John Kelly to take 14 days before the election, trying to warn the American people, look, the gravitas that jo John Kelly has, the commitment to duty, the dedication to chain of command. This is not something he does lightly. John Kelly has not written a book. He hasn't been out there giving paid speeches, blasting Trump. He hasn't been on TV or trying to become a TV commentator. John Kelly has kept fairly quiet. This is a desperate measure trying to warn the American people not to re-elect this man because John Kelly knows him up close. I have zero doubt that John Kelly is telling the truth. John Kelly does not lie. He served admirably and honorably for decades and decades. This is a man who we should listen to. And look, if you are a staunch Trump supporter, it won't matter to you. But to those Republicans who say they have the greatest respect for the military, To those Republicans who say they are for law and order, they better heed John Kelly's words. And I hope that at least some of them take it seriously. And if they are having a hard time marking that ballot for Kamala Harris, that this is something that helps them finally make that decision. And let me also please talk about this stuff, about what he said about Vanessa Guillén. If you don't believe that Donald Trump is capable of saying that $60,000 does it cost that much to bury a fucking Mexican, then you haven't been listening to Donald Trump. You haven't been listening to the way he talked about Judge Curiel as just a Mexican. You haven't been listening to the way he talked about Mexicans as criminals and rapists. You have forgotten when he said that people like me come from shithole countries. This is true to form for Donald Trump. So for those Latinos out there who think that when he says racist, offensive things, it doesn't apply to them, you are wrong. And if you are a Latino or an American with Trump amnesia, this should help to cure you. Y bueno, no podemos dejar de colocar lo que opina la vicepresidenta Kamala Harris de este, no sé, de esta retórica preocupante sobre el candidato republicano a la presidencia de los Estados Unidos. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within, and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. And let's be clear 
about who he considers to be the enemy from within. Anyone who refuses to bend a knee or dares to criticize him would qualify in his mind as the enemy within, like judges, like journalists, like nonpartisan election officials. It is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, the man who is responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. All of this is further evidence for the American people of who Donald Trump really is. This is a window into who Donald Trump really is from the people who know him best, from the people who worked with him side by side in the Oval Office and in the Situation Room. And it is clear from John Kelly's words that Donald Trump is someone who I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. Donald Trump is increasingly unhinged and unstable. And in a second term, people like John Kelly would not be there to be the guardrails against his propensities and his actions those who once tried to stop him from pursuing his worst impulses would no longer be there and no longer be there to rein him in. So the bottom line is this. We know what Donald Trump wants. He wants unchecked power. The question in 13 days will be what do the American people want? Thank you. Al final de cuentas, yo lo que busco siempre es, además de, sí, en ocasiones le tengo que dar mi opinión porque no puedo evitarlo. Además, esta plataforma es para eso. Pero también siempre dándole la información para que ustedes puedan ver lo que está pasando de afuera y tomen sus propias conclusiones y emitan, no solamente compartan su opinión a través de la, de la barra de comentarios, sino también para que ustedes lo compartan con los demás y discutan estos temas. Yo diría que de una manera más inteligente porque cuando tenemos la información en la mano podemos tomar decisiones más inteligentes y conversación, to tener conversaciones también más inteligentes. Te invito a que, por favor, eh, como ahí en la barra de comentarios, déjame saber qué opinas, dale like al video, compártelo con los demás y nos vemos más adelante porque hay mucho contenido durante este miércoles, ombligo de semana, un miércoles también de Town Hall de la vicepresidenta Harris, voy a tratar de estar esta noche en vivo para que todos lo puedan compartir conmigo. Gracias por la sintonía, suscríbete, compártelo con los demás y nos vemos en la próxima aquí a través de Rafael Bello TV.